Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a very simple makeup with a pop of color. This is something I honestly think is like so easy, simple, quick. There's like just a few steps. It doesn't take so much time and it looks really, really, really nice because of the pop of color, you know? So I really hope you guys like this look and I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you do like this look, please leave a lot of orange hearts in the comments below. And now let's get started. Today I'm gonna be using the concealer from Maybelline to I'm gonna use that as a primer for my eyeshadows and I'm blending it out with the elf cosmetic sponge if you don't have a sponge you can also use your finger that works great too but just in tappy motions just make sure that the concealer is blended out really good and the tone is even on the eyelid all the way up to the brow bone Today I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Norvina, volume three. I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow right here using the brush from She Glam. You want to use a brush that grabs a good amount of product. And with this, we're pretty much going to set the concealer. I'm gonna start by applying it all over the eyelid, making sure the tone is even on the eyelid and just a little bit above the crease, but not a lot yet. I do want it above the crease, but I just start by applying it on the eyelid first. And then once that's covered and the tone is even, with whatever is left on the brush, I like to use that to blend out the edges and the eyeshadow is slowly gonna start moving a little bit higher. So I just do it in tapping motions and it does help if you stretch your eyelid by lifting up your eyebrow, that way the eyeshadow blends out a lot easier and faster. But it's not a dark eyeshadow, so it's not gonna be hard to blend out. And just like, just make sure you don't have a lot of product on the brush when you're blending it out. And for this makeup, you can literally use any brown tone you have. It can even be your bronzer. Just apply it all over the eyelid and it's gonna look really nice. For the eyeliner, I'm gonna be using this liquid eyeliner pen from LA Girl and I want something kind of simple. Like it's not simple cause it's like very long but I don't want it too thick. So on the inner corner, I'm not going to apply anything. On the center of the eyelid, I just want to uh, that to be very thin and then towards the outer corner I'm gonna make it a bit thicker now to make this type of eyeliner look good on my type of eye I have to follow the line right there where my eyelids fold and I can't make the eyeliner go past that uh, like wrinkle like I can't make it thick because that's when I close my eyes or I look straight forward like the eyeliner is not gonna look the same it's gonna make my eye look weird so I have to keep the eyeliner under that wrinkle but like I said I am gonna make it long so to do that I just add a little bit of the product just do a very very thin liner very close to the tape right there now the trick to make this eyeliner look very sharp I like to grab the concealer I'm gonna use the same concealer I used earlier with a very flat brush this one's from Anastasia number 18 and I just clean the bottom of the eyeliner now this isn't necessary like cleaning the eyeliner but I do like to do this to extend the tail of the eyeliner to make it look very very thin and sharp because I can't get it like this by just using the eyeliner alone like trying to make the tail look super thin like this you know I just you use you have to use a concealer and clean that part and kind of use that to extend it a little more I don't know if I'm explaining myself right but hopefully you guys can see it <laughs> like you guys can see what I mean um, but I see a big difference and I love doing this part right here Next, I'm going to grab this eyeliner from Anastasia and apply it on the waterline. I'm also going to apply it on top of the roots of my eyelashes, which is very important because you don't want to leave, leave like a gap right there because sometimes, you know, that happens and it looks weird. So you want to apply it right on top of the roots of the eyelashes and then I'm applying it also lower than that. Uh, I'm not going to make it too thick, but I wanted to use this eyeliner as a base like because it's just going to help to make the color stand out a lot more and it's also going to last a lot longer but like I said I'm not gonna make it too thick so once I apply the eyeshadow which is I'm gonna grab it from the same eyeshadow palette from Anastasia with a small brush and then pretty much I'm gonna start by setting setting the eyeliner because it's a creamy eyeliner and then uh, I'm gonna start blending it out and this is where I just like to make it a bit thicker by adding a few layers but like I said you don't have to apply the eyeliner you can just apply the uh, eyeshadow
Another little detail I love to do is the highlighter on the brow bone. I'm going to be using this one from Anastasia with a very small brush. I'm going to apply it uh, right under the arch of my eyebrow and then blend it out just a little bit. And this tone, like goldish tone, looks really good with this makeup. Then I'm going to apply the Anastasia Lash Sculpt. Uh, mascara on my lower lashes. I'm just going to apply one layer, but this mascara does apply a good amount of product And sometimes I love that sometimes I like my lower lashes to stand out to look thick and long um, But let me know in the comments below what you think do you like your lashes to stand out a lot or no? So because I know a lot of people or not a lot of people But I know some people just don't like the lower lashes to stand out So let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that was a final step to complete this look I really hope you guys liked it. It's like I said something quick and easy and it can be for work or school because it's not very dramatic and if you want something like this like a little pop of color um, this makeup is perfect for that because it's super easy so I really hope this tutorial was helpful let me know what you guys give it on the scale of 1 to 10 and don't forget to leave orange hearts in the comments below if you did like it thank you all so much for your love and your support I love you and I will see you in my next video bye